Keep It Down by Cynthia Platt. All around Sloth, animals seemed to be living life in the fast lane. Some were gliding through the leafy treetops. Some were racing around on the shady ground. Sloth, however, was very happy with life in the slow lane. She slept. She ate. She slept some more. But one day, as she was snoozing, squeak! Sloth looked around to find what had made that sound, but she didn't see a thing. That meant it was nap time again. As soon as she started to doze off again, squeak, squeak, squeak! Sloth opened her eyes to find a tiny orange face staring down at her. Squeak! Tamron jumped and continued squeaking as he ran far too quickly through the trees. This would not do. It was time to take action. Again and again, Sloth politely asked Tamarin to keep it down. But every time, squeak, squeak. Sloth considered herself to be a calm mammal, but right then she began to lose her temper very, very slowly. The two animals stood face to face. Sloth explained that sleeping quietly was just what she did. Tamarin explained that making squeaky noises was just what he did. Sloth felt like she was going to lose her cool again. Instead, she took a deep breath and tried to slow down even more than usual. Then she had an idea. Sloth could sleep sometimes and Tamarin would stay quiet. Tamarin could squeak sometimes and Sloth would hang out with him. They both liked the idea. Tamarin even made a schedule. Soon, they were taking turns napping and playing throughout the day. Tamarin got to live the fast and squeaky life. Sloth got to live the slow and easy life, and the two of them got to meet in the middle. <laughs>